Welcome to the session, Creating a Printed Fabric Virtual Sample. You can use the Fabric module within Optitex PDS when you want to create a 3D sample that contains printed fabric. You can upload a fabric as an image and then place it on your pieces, and then view the pattern in 2D and on a 3D model. You can then adjust the placement until the printed fabric lies on the garment as desired. In this session, you will learn how to create a printed fabric virtual sample by creating a 3D sample, defining your fabric pattern, adjusting the fabric pattern in the 3D environment, and then setting up your plotter. In order to make sure the printed fabric works correctly, you must make sure the piece is defined correctly. This includes, make sure the piece is not paired, make sure no quantity is used, every piece should have one size only, if you are using grading, make sure you separate the pieces according to their sizes. First, let's open up a 3D sample we previously created. Now let's simulate to see how our pattern looks on the model. Now, let's define the fabric pattern. This allows you to load an image file of your pattern, adjust the image's parameters, and define gaps between images. From the main menu toolbar, go to Piece, Fabric and Stripes, Fabric Pattern. The Fabric Pattern dialog is displayed. In the Material area, select the main radio button to indicate that this is the active fabric that should be used for your pattern. Note, if the piece has a defined fabric, which is set up in the piece properties, it must be the same name as it was defined in the fabric pattern dialog. If no name was defined, the piece will automatically get the selected fabric. In the settings area, go to Image, File, and browse to the image of your fabric pattern. Note, you can only upload 24-bit JPG files. If you require a 32-bit image, Save as a PNG file instead. Once the image has been selected, you can now define the properties of the image if you would like, or you can use the predefined properties of the image. So for example, in the original area, define the width and the height of the actual print size of the image. Or if you want, in the gap area, define the gap between the repeated image, the X and Y directions. You can click Set Profile if you want to save the settings of this image as an FPF Fabric Pattern Profile. This way, you do not have to define the fabric pattern each time you want to use it. Click Apply when you are done. Your changes are made to the file and the 2D background picture is updated accordingly. To make sure the fabric image is displayed in the 2D background, from the main menu, go to View, View Fabric. Now let's define the transparency or opacity of the image. This way you can decide which pieces will contain the fabric pattern, how the rest of the background will look, and more. From the main menu toolbar, go to View, Fabric Options. The View Fabric dialog is displayed. In the transparency area, adjust the transparency of the image on the 2D PDS background. You can either use the slider or enter a percentage. In the piece opacity area, select the radio button of one of the options to define the opacity of the piece in relation to the background image. If you select none, the image in the piece area will be transparent just like the rest of the image. If you select all, all of the pieces in the area will be opaque, not transparent. And if you select selected, the image within the selected piece area will be opaque, not transparent. When you are done, click OK. Now let's view the pattern and adjust it accordingly. It is recommended to move all of your pieces to the baseline in 2D before you adjust in 3D. Let's see how we do that.
Now let's view our pattern. From the 3D window toolbar, go to Show Hide Model, and from the drop down list, select Use 2D Background as Shader. Once you activate this mode, the 3D view shows the background image as a piece shader. This is done according to the location of the piece in 2D. Now let's move the pieces in 2D. As you can see, the pattern is automatically adjusted in 3D. You can also use the Move Texture tool in 3D to move a piece. Each piece in the 2D window moves according to the piece's texture in the 3D window. Once your pattern is finalized and you are satisfied with your results, you can now use the PDS to plot your pieces. From the PDS main toolbar, go to File, Plotter. Make sure you select the Set Port View to Image Size checkbox. This is to make sure that the plotter is defined correctly for a fabric pattern. If this is the case, frames will not include the gaps area. Only frames with pieces in them will be plotted. The page will start at 00, zero of the frame. Each frame will be plotted in a separate page and the image boundaries, not including the gap, will be marked with a corner sign. The corner size will be 5% of the image size. And now your printed fabric virtual sample is ready for production. Congratulations! You have successfully learned how to create a printed fabric virtual sample. For more detailed information, please check out our online help.